Thank you for joining us for our reflection on a lesson from the Daily Office Lectionary. My name is Mother Elizabeth Papazoglakis, and I serve as Associate Rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Monday in the second week of Advent. Let us pray. Merciful God, who sent your messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation. Give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins, that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our lesson is from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, beginning at the first verse. Now concerning the times and the seasons, brothers and sisters, you do not need to have anything written to you, for you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. When they say there is peace and security, then suddenly destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman, and there will be no escape. But you, beloved, are not in darkness for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. So then let us not fall asleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who are drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober and put on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has destined us, not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with Him. Therefore, encourage one another and build up each other, as indeed you are doing. Here ends the lesson. The Apostle Paul thought that the day of the Lord, or the parousia, Christ's return, would be in his lifetime. Timothy had brought word to Paul that teaching of false prophets had influenced the way of life for some followers in Thessalonica. Since the parousia did not appear to be eminent, the moral perspective of the Thessalonian believers was no longer affected by expectation of an eminent parousia. Paul said that their behavior was similar to the rest. Of course, the rest being pagan non-believers. Paul reminds the believers what they already know very well, that the parousia will come suddenly and unexpectedly. It will be like a thief coming in the night. Paul reminds the Thessalonians that they are people of light, not of the darkness. Paul is delivering a message that his Lord had delivered in the Garden of Gethsemane. Stay awake. As children of light, do what people do in the light. Be awake and be sober. And then Paul adds that they are to arm themselves for protection with a breastplate of love and faith and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. Paul is saying, be ready and protected. Faith in God protects inwardly, and love for people protects outwardly. These two graces cannot be separated, for if one believes in God, he will also love other people. The helmet is a metaphor for the hope of salvation, and as reminder of the protections Christians must hold in place to protect their heads from attacks on their faith, their beliefs, and their attitudes. Faith, love, and the hope of salvation equip Christians to stand ready no matter what may come their way that tries to separate them from the love of Christ. Paul's exhortation for the Thessalonians and us is that as followers of Jesus, we must stay awake and be ready. As you continue through this Advent season, use this time to prepare and stay prepared. 
be ready for the parousia or the end of this earthly life, whether it is today or decades into the future. Our times are in God's hands, and none of us knows the day or the hour when we may take our last breath. We must be prepared. We must live each day with faith and love and in the hope of the resurrection through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturdays or 8 or 9.30 on Sunday mornings. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings. Mm -hmm.